On today's Couch Piece, I'm going to be talking about intimidation, a language of weakness. It can be disheartening that when two people don't agree, all too often, the side that feels they have the upper hand defaults to the language of intimidation, believing it to be a language of strength, whereas it's actually a language of weakness, be it uh, government apparatus enforcing their will on an all uncooperative uh, public or employers uh, apparently enforcing the law on, an, on a disgruntled workforce or parents on what they see to be this recalcitrant children or husband on wa and, or wife on their spouse. It even shows up <laughs> where you have friendships or even uh, colleagues among themselves. It's uh, tempting to want to go for the shortcut to crush it or nip it in the bud. But isn't that short-sighted? How ready are you to crush it tomorrow or the day after or the day after that? Human beings were not designed to be governed from without, but rather from within. How else would you explain the fact that we have a mind of our own and a conscience to determine right from wrong? Think about it. Of course, there is a place for enforcement where there is clear insubordination, contrary to agreed conduct. However, where possible, we ought to take the pains of actually engaging and getting people to buy into our point of view. Ultimately, we must enable and empower legitimate expressions of dissent and allow people to be heard so that where possible, there is engagement and not disenfranchisement. My name is Akene and this is my couch piece for today. Have a great day.